job. You're giving this department the worst reputation in the country. Now, I get the chamber of commerce doing cartwheels in my cocoa factory. Radcliffe, you you're pulling duty with the animated cat. I am toots. I'm getting a flea bath later. Join me. You touch me again, furball, and I'll kill you. I can prove this is a movie. Shh. Who the hell are you, kid? Look out there, this is a cartoon cat. He's supposed to be back on duty. He was only suspended for a month. Now shut up. Listen to what I'm saying. An animated cat just walked into the squad room. Hello? He'll do it again tomorrow, so what's your point? That cat is one of the best men I got. Yeah. Now who is this twerk, and where is that smile on his face? I just love the way you two fight. The way how you really feel about each other. Well, pray tell. Just how do I feel about this weird-looking sack of puppy poo? Your dearest friends. After your wife left you for the circus mission, and Jack told everyone he drove her to New England to the diphtheria clinic. When he came back, you said, you saved me from public humiliation, Jack. You're my dearest friend. And you promised me you wouldn't tell. I didn't. Well, then how did he know? Jack Slater won. What's winning got to do with this? No, the very first Jack Slater. You told your dad. I didn't tell anyone. I don't even know this kid. He seems to know a lot about us. You're gonna love it, Jack. I mean, we're perfect buddy movie material. I'll teach you to be vulnerable. You'll teach me to be brave. Hi, I'm Jack Slater's new partner. Jack and I will be working together for the duration of the film. <laughs> you know I'm right. If this was a real world, I mean, they wouldn't make me your partner. They'd assign me to a social worker. Here's one. Tell me how I know they tortured Frank and then stashed him behind his front door. Because I saw it on screen. Because this is a movie. You're very clever. Quick, where are the Schwarzenegger films? Foreign films are in the back. No, action. This guy's an action star. Down the center, on the left. No. It is impossible. What's not possible? He's fantastic. This is his best performance ever. But that was you. You were in that movie. You were in a movie? Yes. It was called The Girl of My Dreams. It starred you. As a matter of fact, we had this very romantic scene together. <laughs> What's the phone number of the store? 555-2310. OK, what's your home number? That's okay. You can give it to him. I'm a police officer. 555-3812. Amazing. I'm willing to bet that everyone has a 555 number. So? So? There can only be 9,999 numbers that start with 555. How many people live in L.A.? Eight or nine million. Aha! Uh -huh. That's why we have area codes. Oof! Is this your kid? This? Oh, no. This is a mental patient, and I'm gonna take him downtown. Come on. Okay, I got one. What about this girl right here? She is way too attractive to be working at a video store. I agree with you. I think she should be working with us. On the cover, of course. Look, the point is, there are no unattractive women here. I mean, where are the ordinary, everyday women? They don't exist because this is a movie. No, oh, this is California. By the way, thanks. I think it was really slick the way you got this girl's phone number. Okay.